There are three stages that need to be configured when setting up coupons in eRegister Now. The first is coupon options, the second is the list of applicable events that will be able to use the coupon, and the third is what triggers the coupon. Starting off with coupon options. In coupon options you have a series of selections to make, including the type of coupon, either a regular coupon or a tax exemption coupon. The name of the coupon, the coupon's unique code, if the coupon is enabled, a comment or explanation about the coupon, and the value of the coupon. There are three different options for coupon value, absolute dollar amount, percentage discount, and absolute price override. Absolute dollar amount is used to decrease or increase an event price by a specific dollar amount when the coupon is triggered. For example, if you enter $30, it will reduce the price of the event by $30, or if you enter negative $30, it will increase the event price by $30 when the coupon is triggered. Percentage discount is used to decrease or increase an event price by a specific percentage amount when the coupon is triggered. For example, if you enter 50%, it will reduce the price of the event by 50%, or if you enter negative 50%, it will increase the event price by 50% when the coupon is triggered. Absolute price override is used to set the price to an exact price. For example, if you enter $30, the overall total price will be $30 when the coupon is triggered. In the Advanced Options tab, you can give the coupon a description that will be displayed on the customer's invoice. This is done by entering the description into the Coupon Description field and changing the Display Coupon Description on the Step 4 Invoice field to Yes. The second consideration for coupons is the Applicable Events tab. The purpose of the Applicable Events tab is to be able to select specific events from all of your events for which the coupon may be triggered. For example, if you are running a convention and are selling tickets for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but only Thursday and Sunday get 15% off, you would only check the Thursday event box and Sunday event box. The last topic is how coupons are triggered. There are eight different types of coupon triggers that may be used, and this video will cover the most popular three. 1. Coupon Code Box The most popular way of triggering a coupon is simply a text box where the customer inputs a coupon code. To enable the coupon box, go to Edit Events, Edit Selected Event, Display Options Step 2-4, to four, and say yes to display coupon code box, step two. The coupon code is made in the edit coupons, coupon options tab. You then change the unique coupon code to whatever you want the customer to type into the coupon code box during checkout in order to trigger the coupon. Be aware, however, that the coupon code is case sensitive. Two, early bird. The next most popular coupon setup is the early bird discount. The early bird discount works all by itself. During the setup process, you can select when you want the early bird discount to end, and the eRegister Now software automatically disables the discount when the time you select it hits, so that you don't have to disable it manually. In order to set up an early bird discount, go to Edit Events, Edit Selected Event, Event Pricing Advanced, and check the Early Registration Discount box. You can then select which coupon will automatically be applied for the customer and when the early registration ends. 3. Custom Question you can also make custom questions for your registration form. These custom questions have the ability to trigger a coupon you choose to take effect if a valid response is input by the customer. The process to set up a coupon enabled custom question begins by going to edit registration forms, clicking on the form to be edited, custom questions, create new custom question, and fill out the desired settings in question settings and then pricing options. In pricing options, you have two options. Set up a set amount discount if a valid response is input, or apply a coupon if the correct response is input. For triggering a coupon, type the valid response to trigger the coupon into the question response box, and finally select which coupon you wish to have triggered if the correct response is given in the coupon to apply box. For example, if you wanted to ask the customer if they wanted their tickets to be shipped to them for a $20 fee, and wanted a simple yes or no radio button menu, you would make a coupon that added $20 to the price and then go to custom questions and input would you like to have your tickets shipped for $20 into the question prompt field and change question type to radio. In the response list, you would put no and yes separated by a tilde. In pricing options, you would input yes and select the coupon that you made that adds $20.